Welcome to SHOP Show 2024, everybody. We are here at the Boker booth with Karsten Felix, Hi. owner of Boker. And we're here to talk about some knives and helping you own that car that you can only dream of having. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, Karsten, we kind of teased it in the intro. We have yeah. the Mach 1. Yeah, we have the Mach 1 and we are very excited. Mm -hmm. Second car, so to speak, in the Boca product line. Uh, last year we started with the Camaro. Yeah. Big the same year too, 69? Yes, 1969 is the year. Um, well, the Boca USA sales team uh, has the lead here. And um, for muscle cars, obviously 1969 is, is a very uh, important year. So. Yeah. All the cars we're showing. Oh, there's. Oh, a spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alarm. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> there will be more, but now we are concentrating, focusing on the Ford Mustang. Yes. Okay, and not just any Mustang. It's the Mach One. Yes. Exactly. And so my understanding is the Mach One had a bunch of Shelby components in it when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's muscle <laughs> built for the racetrack. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Yeah. And I love this teal color you put on. Yeah. And so so maybe we, we take it out of the floating oh. display. This is something we like to show always, right? The, um, it's good for the dealers, but good for the collectors that your Damascus knife is yeah. kind of floating in the in the uh, frame. So okay. easy opening. And here is the Mustang. The Mustang. The Mac, Mac 1. So I'm curious, did you enamel this just like the body has? Or does it just feel that way? <laughs> <laughs> it feels that way. No, that it, way. no. We, we really uh, look into the color, right? First thing is, what color do we pick? And this uh, silver jade um, color was one of the most popular colors, and we really matched it. I mean, you, you can't say 100%, but it's, it's really, if you hold it next to the car, to the original car, it's, it's, it's a match. It's very close. Yes, it's very close. Okay, and what are some of the other features on here yes, that are call-outs yes, to the car? Of course. Um, if you look at the, um, the car body, it has this um, brass inlay uh, below the, at, at the, um, down at the, at the doors, right? And so we, we um, took that over in, the, in, a, in a knife body. Mm -hmm. It's always a hard job. Um, yeah, you want to look authentic um, and you want to show some specs of the car yeah. without looking like a gas station, gas station. knife, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so the, the wheels, right, um, the, the original uh, wheels um, are here um, in the, the, the rims, yes, in the, in the pivot, exactly. Carson, does the backspacer mean anything here? Yeah, it's, it's like the hood cowl, I hope I pronounce it correctly, um, of, the, of the original car, yes. Okay, so, so that one had the little, little bump that came out because the engine was too big to fit under the yeah, hood, right? Correct, correct, yeah. Okay. Well, and most important, of course, the Damascus blade, right? Mm -hmm. Forged uh, with original parts um, of the 1969 Mach 1, without destroying a car okay, or like, stealing parts. <laughs> or you're not grinding <laughs> open an engine block, are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. So we took, uh, we find a, found a collector in uh, Kentucky, mm -hmm. um, and that was a long, a long way to go. Yeah. That's that's the tricky part in this project. You don't want to mess up with these car guys, right? And we don't want to. Again, this is a love letter it. car industry. It's yeah. not, let's Correct. tear some cars apart. Ex ex exactly. <laughs> so they gave us some parts, um, the spring coil, I remember. And um, there we, we forged uh, the blade out of it. Yeah. Okay. So and if it's a coil spring, spring yeah. steel is a very common thing you find in knives. People like spring steel for blade steel. So yeah. it doesn't just look good. It'll cut good too. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Man, what so, a beautiful knife. Yeah. And knife-wise, I, I mean, knife-wise, I think it's it's um, it's really a, a, a nice design. Tommaso Romigi again from Italy, our friend, um, mm -hmm. designed designed the knife. Um, so it's not only a cool story, not only the car specs. It's also, I think, a convincing knife. As yeah, a, as excellent a ergonomics, yeah. a very smooth action, yeah. nice one-hand, easy open. It's just a good knife all around. Yeah. yeah, man, for all you car guys out there. I hope you're collecting these bokers because yeah. they are next level. Yeah. And speaking of next level, I picked this up and I thought it was a different company's. Like, cause I know you guys have OEM'd out of ProTech before. Yeah. 
But no, this nope. is made in Germany. <laughs> this is completely made in Germany. Um, we made a lot of changes in our production in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, Boker is very strong in certain product segments, you know, traditional knives, uh, classic hunting knives, classic outdoor knives, but we are also able to do some modern knives. Um, and not only, well, we, we are, have them in our uh, Boker Plus line and Magnum line, but um, there's a huge demand for this modern knife, outstanding materials, good design, um, but made in Zoling and for competitive price, right? Mm -hmm. So this um, Urban Trapper Automatic Brad Zinker. Yeah, is that the first Brad Zinker Automatic? For out of Zoling, and yes, 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 it is. Okay. In general, yes, it is. Well, Absolutely. I'm excited. I've yeah. Like when I tell people, people like, I want the lightest knife possible to not weigh down my slacks. I always send them to the Boker Urban Trappers. Yeah. But now we have it in the auto. Yeah. <laughs> Magna Cut. Right. And um, price point retail one ninety nine, ninety five. That is not bad. Out of Zoling. A Magna yep. Cut Auto with that super snappy action. Yes. And I love this integrated pocket uh, lanyard hole back here. Yeah. So that way, if you tie a cool lanyard, if you if you like to tie knots and that sort of thing, you can disassemble the knife to clean it, and then you don't have to retie your lanyard back on. You just put the pin back. Yeah. Man, you thought of everything. <laughs> well, we try. We try. Yeah. I think that's a good package. I think it is too. I also love this pocket clip. That is a very deep ride. Yeah. I think that's another thing we see on a lot of those bread sinker designs. Exactly. Man, I love that knife. And then last year we had the Trapper, but this year we have Correct. the Barlow. The Barlow. A modern interpretation of the very classic Barlow. I mean, we are in business since 1869 in Zoling. So since then we, we built Barlow knives. Um, mm -hmm. But this is a modern way. Again, magna cut blade, fully titanium frame lock, um, CNC machined with a, yeah. Yeah, I see that texture and I feel like that's a callback to the original Barlow's because yeah. they're known for kind of that long bolster. Correct. And then a scale of maybe an exotic hardwood or a jigged bone or something. Correct. That, I see that as a gesture to the yes. past. So modern traditional at its best, milled titanium clip, um, the action is just phenomenal, it, and it has a little flipper. It's this is this is my favorite knife in the in the new lineup, but that's my personal. Yeah. It's a see very that? small yeah. flipper, but yes. it's got just the right amount of jimping. Exactly, that you just ride it's it. enough. Right. Yeah, and sometimes I don't care for the look of a front flipper, and on a lot of the modern traditional people will go for that. Yeah. I love how you integrated that flipper there. Yeah. So it's the flipper I'm used to using. It looks traditional, and man, is it beautiful. Yeah. And another point, um, you know, we get a lot of response. We listen to our customers. Um, he said, yeah, sometimes they complain that the um, laser engraving on the, on the blade was too much billboard-like, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so we reduce that completely with our new items. You see the bokeh tree. But it's a very subtle tree. in the pivot. Yes, but no, no laser engraving here, but we use the spine and the and the uh, back, back side of the blade. Okay. So it's very clean, yeah, very yeah. clean design. I like that a lot. I think I yeah. like this one. I think this might be my favorite at the table yeah. too. Yeah. Like, I love the Barlow pattern, but I like a one hand open and close. Yeah. And it's here. It's very and, nice. And 270 retail. So Not for the full package made in Zoling completely. Yeah, With find this, a yeah. milled titanium magna cut type frame lock for exactly. 270. Good luck, exactly. my friends. <laughs> okay, yeah. the next up, this yeah. looks like a Burnley. It is a Burnley. Um, again, a new interpretation of the very successful Quaken button lock flipper. Magna cut. Um, price point, made in Zoling, 100%, 154.95 retail. All right, for yeah. a button lock flipper, and those are all the rage right now. Yes. And it's a very smooth button lock flipper. Like, look at that. That is what you want to see on a button lock flipper. Yes, yes sir. Very smooth. Are we on bearings here? Yes. Okay. Aluminum yep. handles, scales, so. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a little thing I've noticed. It looks like the backspacer here is integral to the show scale. So you're minimizing parts here, too. It's going to be easier exactly. to take care of. You're not going to lose stuff if you're taking it apart. Man. 
not only not only parts but only to uh, have a cleaner look right no mm -hmm. screws oh yeah no no screws here right it's all integrated so it's it's a more clean look again very reduced the bokeh tree is just here and we use this, um, the, the spine man i think that's the cleanest quaking yet yes it's probably my favorite quaking yet. yeah <laughs> yeah and it's just fun to um, to play with it right mm -hmm. so very fidgety yeah yeah and one thing i will say of a lot of fidgety knives is they tend to be loud. This one has a very nice tactile feel as it opens, but it's not ob obnoxious. It's yeah. not gonna make my coworkers yeah. upset with me. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Well done, Good. Lucas Burnley, and well done, Boker. Thank you. Okay, and this next then one. Then a complete new knife <laughs> yeah. uh, in the Boker lineup. Um, the EDK, it has a brother also called the DTK with the Tanto blade, what we show here the, the everyday duty knife. We call it the duty knife line. You know, you can really use it everyday use. Crossbar lock, magna cut blade, wire clip, uh, GFN scales. So a really nice package and a complete new look for for Boker Zoling knife. Yeah. So this is like probably a three and a half, maybe just a bit shorter on the blade length. Yeah. So it's a good full size knife, but it is. It belies its weight. It's a yes. very light knife, too. Yes. And then I like how you have a nice deep carry pocket clip, you're going to get good retention, but then you still have exposure of the lanyard it, hole. That will be, it's still a prototype. We, there will be some changes. Um, this screw will be smaller and black, and the, and the clip will be improved as well. But Okay. Yeah. But I do like how we have access to the lanyard hole here, so Correct. if it, it, like it's duty, if this yeah. is in your cargo pants, yes. you're out in the field doing stuff, Maybe you're in gloves or something. You can tie yeah. a lanyard here and make it easy to grab your knife, even with the deep carry, to keep it kind of hidden. Yeah. And magna cut. Uh, magna There's cut. a lot of magna cut on the table, Karsten. I know, I know, but um, we, we like that material. Our customers love that material. Um, and again, the complete package, made in Zoling, 100%, uh, uh, 159 retail. It's not bad. Nope. So tell me about this pivot. Kind of got yeah, a notch yeah, in it. Yeah, but again, that, that will be changed. So okay. don't. Uh, <laughs> we shouldn't talk too too much. <laughs> that will, that will be a little change as well. All right. Yeah. Cool beans. But, but, <laughs> but again, uh, a new way for us uh, for the Zoling production, and so far, a really good response. Yeah, I like that knife a lot. Yeah. And we've yeah. seen a, a few collaborations with Daily Knives in the past. Correct, and there will one. be more. Yeah. <laughs> There will be more, and people love um, the AK-1. You know, the size is just phenomenal. Um, it's, it's really a nice fixed blade you want to carry. Um, and, but the collectors love that knife as well. So we have the uh, rose gold Damascus um, version with fat carbon scales. And that is strictly limited to 99 pieces worldwide. Wow. So the US will get 40 and Europe 60. Huge fight internally in Boker. <laughs> <laughs> the Boker sales force is fighting for that. But okay, that's you so guys can't see it, but Mike is off screen over here. Like <laughs> I fought hard. All forty of you Americans better be grateful. <laughs> My blood, sweat, and, and tears got you. And just I don't know if they're already gone, but yeah. uh, I'm sure they will be gone at the end of the show. But okay, fine. But that's really um, a beauty. Yeah. So I'm curious as to how you get this rose gold color on the Damascus. Yeah. <laughs> is, that a, is that a trade secret? That's a trade secret. All right. Yes. Whatever the case, it yeah. is gorgeous. It is. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So I'm excited yeah. to see this one. Yeah. I think it might be a little bit out of my price range, but I'm glad to see it out there anyway. <laughs> but $7.99, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. And um, again, 99 pieces and then worldwide. It's gone. That's it. Right. So act fast, team. At the okay. totally other um, side of the price range is our new BFF lightweight. Lucas Burnley uh, design again. Magna Cut, made in Zoling. Retail, uh, I have, oh sorry, I have the Euro retail. <laughs> <laughs> no, the US retail is 109.95. But this okay. is... So that's a pretty Made in Zoling. So made in Zoling in. 109.95 gets you that much magna cut and a fixed blade yeah. and a nice kydex sheath that we don't have yeah. on the table with us yeah. but it'll have that in the end 
And Lucas Burnley just knows how to make a good compact knife. Yes. It doesn't have to be huge to get four fingers on and a nice usable blade, but that is so feather light, just perfectly balanced in the middle. Yeah. What a nice fixed blade to everyday carry. Yeah. yeah. I suppose that's why it's the pack light, BFF pack light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're very happy with that one. Yep. Okay, this next up on the Boker Plus. Correct. This was all Zolling. That was Everything all Zolling. So far. Completely banned in Germany and Zolling in our factory, exactly. And now we have out of the new items from Boker Plus, um, yeah, we picked some, some highlights. Um, the Boker Plus collection, 2024. Um, high end, as always, um, limited uh, to 500 pieces worldwide. Made in Italy. Okay. This is, yeah, they're all made so far, not all, of, but, but the last three, I think, were made in Italy, mm -hmm. in Maniago. Um, High-end materials, Magna Cut blade. Uh, our first Les George design. Yeah, I was going to mention that. I don't think yeah. I've seen a Boker Les George before. Exactly. But man, am I happy to see them. I love, love Les George designs. Exactly. The dumb joke I always make is, look, they already have my name on them. I got to get one. <laughs> Yeah, but like yeah. in classic Les George fashion, this feels like a like a tactical knife. The yeah. nice fills out the hand, wants to go to work. But then in classic Boker collection fashion, it also feels like high end luxury. Yes, yes sir. Really nice. Yeah. 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 Again, Magna Cut, titanium frame lock. Look um, at this pocket clip. That, yeah, mill pocket clip. That might be the most milling I've ever seen on a pocket clip. Yeah. That is quite something. Yeah. It's a collector's piece. Mm -hmm. So we're really happy. Yeah. yeah. Made in Italy and $4.99 is the retail. Yeah. Then again, we jump to the uh, lower side uh, in, the, in the price segment. Um, modern gentleman knives in our Boca Plus range. Mm. Retail $59.95. So there is a market for these traditional knife lovers who want the specs of a modern knife. Yeah, and that's what the Barlow and the Trapper the last few years have really excelled in. Correct. But not everybody wants to spend 270 bucks, so we also offer uh, on the lower price end something really decent, I think. Yeah, and I mean, we got Micarta. That's a, a material everybody loves. I would assume this is an aluminum bolster. Yes, sir. And then Nitro V Nitro on the v, blade. Nitro V blade. We're so, very happy to present that steel, yes. So it may be an affordable knife, but it is not cheap by no, any stretch. No, a, a good quality tool. Correct. But still with those beautiful traditional classic lines. Man. Yeah. I love to see it coming out of the Booker Plus line. Booker Plus is where a lot of us knife nerds kind of cut our teeth. We find it like, like before I graduate to drop in 270 bucks on a knife, I go through Booker Plus. Yes. I want to see what is it that brings a quality tool Yes. Added a price that I can afford and justify to myself Correct. before I quite know what I'm doing. Yeah. And I think these are just a great entry for that. Yes. And we oh. have the gentleman knife, we have a trapper version, and we have a Barlow. Oh, he's got the Barlow. I didn't ask for Barlows, but he knew I wanted them. We have Barlows. <laughs> <laughs> we sell them for centuries, so yeah. Yep. <laughs> that that knife pattern will be around forever. That's for sure. It, it stood the test of time. It's just it's just yeah. such a nice, yes. small, pocketable thing. Yes. Offers a lot of utility. Wow. I love all these modern traditionals. Thank you. Okay. And last up, we yes. have the Advent the calendar. The Advent calendar. <laughs> Advent calendars are huge in Europe. Um, every kid in Germany or in, 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 in Europe uh, gets an Advent calendar um, at 1st of December. And you open the door. And when I was a kid, we got chocolate. But kids get more spoiled. So my kids said, ah, chocolate. I want something more. Yeah, the last <laughs> so. thing I need is more chocolate. <laughs> However, I do need more premium cutlery. Yes. <laughs> so, and now advent calendars are, you know, um, for perfume, cosmetics. Coffee. Coffee, whatever, right? And so we started um, three years ago with an advent calendar for the knife. For the knife guys, mm -hmm. right? So you um, open 24 doors every. In Germany, we get our presents at uh, December 24th okay. in the evening. Really? You get your presents Christmas a later, morning. right? Christmas yeah. morning. So that's. I why think the, Santa might have to deal with the time change and all that. That's why the advent yeah. calendar has 24 <laughs> doors, <laughs> not <Okay>. 25. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
we got this question here. Why, why is it only 24 doors? Because <laughs> in Germany or in Europe, you get the um, you get the, the Christmas presents um, on the 24th. And then you can build your own knife. And okay. here we show, and we have this year, because it's a huge success, this year we have two advent calendars. Really? Yes, sir. One, base, the basic model is the head so it's a back lock, okay. you know, and these you can, you can build basically these, you get these three knives, you get parts for these three knives. It's only, mm -hmm. it's only, you know, you get two blades, um, different scales, bolsters, but only one back spring and one pair of, of liners. So okay. you, right? So it's one knife, but in different versions. So in the advent calendar, in those 24 yes. days, I will open stuff so that I could build out these each configuration. Correct. Wow, so it's like three different knives in one. Correct. But you have to dress them up. But exactly. I mean, it's fun. Like you already know how to put the knife together. Yep. You learned all December. Yes. And now you can dress it up or whatever outfit you're wearing and, or where you're going. And you, you get a manual and it's really easy to, uh, to build it up. And it's, it's picking up. It's, we, we sell a lot of advent calendars. And, <laughs> and we're happy that finally in the US it's, it's picking up as well. Yeah, and then it looks like we have a button lock flipper for the other one. Absolutely. So if you say, yeah, the Haddock is nice, but um, I already have a lot of backlog knives. I want to have a button lock flipper. We go for the FX Mini from Lucas Burnley. Okay, this is a Lucas Burnley design. That's a Lucas Burnley design. And yes, sir. A very slick action. Yes. Especially for having come out of an advent calendar. And, and the trick is you can change the scales without taking the whole knife apart. So okay. you can really quickly change the scale. So with inlays or full scale, so that different ver four different versions, so to speak, possible. That knife. I like the sound of that. Yeah. So the advent calendars I've always thought are just the funnest things in the world. But I, th I think that we kind of forget how much engineering has to go in. We have to come it up with a knife that has exactly 24 parts. That is user serviceable enough that somebody yes. can assemble it getting one piece every single day. And I think that the fact that you've noticed that that means it's user service enough to do that, I can also make it customizable in the same way. Exactly. Man, it's genius, Karsten. And, and people love it. More, yeah. Yeah, we We're sell really so many of these every single year. <laughs> and I think this is going to be the advent calendar year on record. Like, this is going to yeah. be the best one yet. Yeah. So, very happy about that. Yeah. So, it's currently January, but come November, go look at BladeHQ.com and pick yourself up an advent calendar. Pick it up for your friends, family, loved ones. It will make the seasons bright. Yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah. Well, Carson, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. This is a very exciting year for poker. It is, absolutely. Yeah. Very yeah. happy. I'm excited to see which muscle car you turn into Damascus yeah, next yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows, cool. maybe one of those days we'll get some Audis and BMWs in there, some who of those knows? German cars. Who knows? We'll see. Poker's right. always up to something. All well, right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a great show. You too. And we'll Thanks. see you all next time.